Mr. Jack Dawson has a job. He is a security guard for a jewelry shop. Oh, here comes some badgers in trench coats and slouchy hats. That's suspicious. Mr. Jack Dawson hears a commotion. He runs inside. Gracious. The Badgers are armed and holding up the Kiwi Bird manager. They have a pistol. The poor customers are on the floor. Oh. They are scooping up the jewelry. Mr. Jack Dawson bravely tackles the badger holding the pistol. The manager has pressed the panic button. Here comes the bird police. Badgers are in handcuffs. Oh look, the crafty badger has slipped a necklace in Mr. Jack Dawson's pocket. He's with us. Check his pockets. Ah, uh, he got you arrested. Check his pockets. He was afraid we would not keep our side of the bargain, so he decided to blow the whistle on us. But being a jackdaw, he couldn't resist and flicked a necklace. Check his pocket. You'll find proof. Arrest him! Mr. Jack Dawson has been framed by the clever badgers. He has no option but to run. This is the first time I didn't steal, and I've been caught with the goods on me. Are you trying to tell me that you, a jackdaw, notorious for picking up shiny objects, is not responsible for this business? I don't believe you, brother. You can believe what you like. I know we jackdaws have a bad reputation, but I want to change. To fight my nature. But this one I did not do. Well, I'm sorry for your brother and all that. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So... <coughs> Melody, what gives? Banana trauma. Please don't. Please give him a chance. <coughs> <coughs> Melody, 
he is a felon, a dangerous criminal. You want to give him a chance? <laughs> God gives everyone a chance. My mom says, no matter who. <coughs> so why not him? All right then, you can go. We can't break Melody's heart, not when she's ill and all that. Thank you. I won't forget this kind just... Wait, your necklace! It's not my necklace and I don't want it. I'm not a thief. It's just a disease for which there is no cure. Hey, brother! Looks like you were speaking the truth. Don't take it to heart. You're standing in a place of prayer. God is listening to you. He'll come up with something. I know who can help him. Professor! You mean that Dodo Dingbat can help this poor bird? More likely, he'll confuse him so much he will graduate from petty thieving to grand larceny and become a major robber. Look, I'm so desperate. I will give anything, anyone a chance. All right then, if you want to take a chance. Don't blame me later on. Let's go. Gobble, my daughter is missing. Don't you understand? She is not well, and this is a big place where no one knows her. And you say you can't do anything? What kind of an answer is that? This turkey is speaking. Gobble, gobble, gobbledy cock. I say we organize a search party. Town foreigners gotta help them with everything. Mr. Gobble, you have to do something, please. My poor Melody, all alone. God knows where. <laughs> there, there, Margie. Don't cry. We will find Melody. Yes, even if we have to search every nook and corner of Land of Birds. Yes. I have some experience in that matter. I say we begin right away. Doggone turtle, if we let you do the searching, we'll be hundred years old by the time you reach the front door. Look, no point wasting time. Talk, talk, talk. That's all you foreigners do. It's time for action. I... Agree with you. In France, we do believe in action. Viva la France. You are French? Pelez-vous France wills? Pourquoi? What did you say? What language was that? You are from France? And you don't know pale where wolf France wears? This guy is an imposter. <laughs> you call me an imposter, you vulgar American? I will not tolerate it. I will bring these up in the United Nations. Go right ahead, my friend. I can't wait. Stop this war of words immediately. There is Melody.
Melody, my child. Where have you been? I've been sick with worry. We went to the house of prayer to pray for Melody's good health. Pick a boo. You are at least a responsible person. Couldn't you leave a message at the desk with Mr. Turkey? Uh, I mean, Mr. Gobble? I'm sorry, Marge. We just didn't think what with the contest coming up and Melody in the state. <coughs> it's quite alright. It's nice of all of you to be so concerned. And who is this gentleman? Mr. Jack Dawson at your service. He has some business with Professor Tink Do Fuzzy and Cool Critter. Professor Martin Odious Drowsy Squeaky Squawky Pipe Jackass Funny Fuzzball Critter PhD Professor Emeritus And how can I be of service to you? It's private business. In that case, I will give you an appointment for three this afternoon, right after lunch. Thank you, kind sir. I'll take your leave, and we'll be back at three shop. And let me compliment you, madam, on the fine child you have raised. A most kind-hearted and generous girl. Bless you all. He's the goods, that's for sure. I think I can arrange for him to come to the U.S. We need fine folks like him. Birds like him are welcome everywhere. Now, come on, child. You need to rest. We'll meet in Professor Ding Dong's room at three. Time for lunch. I believe it is banana nut bread today. My favorite. A chocolate mouse for me. Yummy. Yuck. We are going for lunch, not dinner. Can you step on it? I think I need some mechanical device to help me. Give me a break. Not a break. An accelerator, which will make me go faster. Yay, God! I have a great idea for you, Mimi Tang. <coughs> so, you see, you have this problem only when you see shiny objects. You just get blinded by the shine, and then you don't remember what happens till you see the object in your pocket, or wherever you choose to put it. Oh, uh, interesting. Yes, yes. I am, by nature, a very honest person. But when it comes to shiny objects, somehow I cannot help myself. I have to take the... Yes, it is a common problem, especially with women. They just can't resist shiny objects. The shinier, the better. Like diamonds, for example. Yes, but they know what they're doing. You'll be surprised. But anyway, we are here to sort out your problem. And I think I have the solution. A simple one, but effective. I'm going to do a simple experiment with you, which, unknown to you, I have already set up. Here, put on these. 
Now walk out of the door and come back in two minutes. Hope you know what you're doing. Yes, and what's with the dark glasses, man? You look like funny. Don't ask me. He's doing some kind of experiment and asked me to wear this and come back in two minutes. I think that owl has lost it. He's gone cuckoo. He's an owl. He can't go cuckoo. Cuckoos go cuckoo. You know, cuckoo, cuckoo. Do it too. Nothing. I'm just saying cuckoo, cuckoo, to with two. Drat it. This owl is making me go bananas. Let's get out of here. You go on in and let us know what happened. We are going to Melody's room to see how she's doing. Her room is 1111. That is double one, double one. Got it. I will be there. If I'm cured of my habit of stealing things, I have to thank her. It was her idea. Wish me luck. All the best, brother. All the very best. Well, the experiment is a success. You are cured. Huh? How? When? Where? Why? Take off your glasses and turn around. <laughs> Do you see all the shiny objects? They were lying there and you did not pick them up as you left the door. Because the dark classes were cutting the glare, so they were no longer shiny. You are cured. Hallelujah! Does that mean I have to wear these glasses all the time? Ho ho ho! Do it too! Of course not, my good man. It is only for some time. Then you will be cured. I can't thank you enough. Surely you're a wise owl. Tell me, what can I do for you? Anything. Tell me, what do you want? What I want, you can't do for me. So it's quite all right, my man. I am happy my experiment worked. For a man of science, that is enough. At least tell me. You never know the power of goodness. Just tell me. I will do anything in my part to return the good you did for me. Well, there is only one thing I want. I want Melody to sing in the contest. Marge is a dear friend of mine, and I know all the friends of Jungle Land will be very disappointed if she's unable to sing. They were so looking forward to it. But as you know, her throat is damaged ever since she went to Cuckoo Cool's party and was made to have all that cool stuff. Cuckoo! I should have known it. She would be behind it. But wait, I have a plan to foil her. Yes, Melody will sing. You can bet your last dollar in it. I have to go, but I will be back. Tell Melody and the others not to lose heart. Who? Who ever thought that someone who everyone thought was a thoroughly bad fellow would turn out to be so nice? And now, 
if he can only find a way to help Melody, she would be a role model for all those who believe in the power of goodness. Singing, 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 sing